If you want to be more efficient and effective while running your business with more inner peace than working on the core of your issues instead of putting on a band-aid is vital. Welcome to the Business Brain Podcast. I'm your host, SD Rapport, and here to help you improve your 28 cognitive functions, the 28 things that make up thinking. In each episode, we'll discuss a real life challenge, why you might be struggling with it, and give you practical strategies so all areas of your life will improve. When Justin joined Optimizer ADHD Brain, he would write everything down. And when I say everything, I mean everything. If I would give the group a three minute exercise to do in peers, Justin would write it down just in case he might forget. He had this overhanging anxiety of what happens if I forget. If you're experiencing something similar, I'm here to tell you, you do not have to struggle forever. In this episode, episode 460 of the Business Brain Podcast, I'm going to share with you the exact steps so you can have your own transformation. First, are you a business owner with ADHD? Would you like to learn how to leverage your superpowers and optimize your ADHD so running your business is easier? If yes, you may just be the perfect fit for optimize your ADHD brain. Learn more and apply at electricsuniversity.com forward slash O-Y. While you are doing any task you, without even realizing it, are using your 28 thinking skills. When the thinking skills you need to use are strong, doing the task happens easily. If the thinking skills you need to use are weak, doing the task will be a challenge. The struggle that Justin had came from a weak thinking skill of holding two or more pieces of information at once. Holding two or more pieces of information at once is just what it sounds like. Can you remember two or more numbers when someone gives you their phone number? Or do you need them to give it to you one digit at a time? What about remembering pieces of information a potential client is telling you? Will you remember it during the conversation? Or do you need to write it down because you might forget it? My favorite way to improve this thinking skill is to give yourself two pieces of information to hold on to without writing it down. In sessions, we do these fun brain exercises where you get to find very specific shapes within these thoughts. Now, most people, as soon as they find a shape, they'll draw it and then they'll look for the next one. But I gave Justin a challenge. Instead of finding a shape and drawing it as soon as you see it, hold it in your brain, look for the rest of your the shapes, and only once you find all of them should you draw all of them. In the beginning, it was a super challenging. Justin would find himself tempted to draw the shape so he won't forget, or he would lose the shape in his mind and he would have to find it again. Over time, Justin found ways to hold information in his brain, such as retracing in his brain multiple times or adding sounds and colors to the shapes that made it easier for his brain to hold all the shapes at the same time. By the end of the program, not only did Justin have an easy time holding all the shapes in his brain at the same time, he was able to take the same strategies that he used on the paper to apply it to his everyday life. And the way he was operating on a daily basis was completely different because of this improved thinking skills. Small things like getting credit card numbers from clients were now transferred over easily instead of having to ask four times because now his brain could hold those multiple numbers in his brain at the same time. Now it also improved big things, things like giving all information to his team, because now he was able to hold all the information in his brain at the same time. So when he was presenting his ideas or he was guiding his team and wanted to move forward, he was able to do it without a struggle. Plus his anxiety that he might forget dropped a ton. You too can improve your thinking skill of holding two or more pieces of information at once by giving yourself two things to do at once without writing it down. So for example, answer a boxer and make a coffee. Then once you're comfortable, give yourself three tasks to do without writing it down. It might be answer the box or make a coffee and take your vitamins. Once you're really comfortable with doing three things, make it four, five, and move on from there. And you can also do this within a task. It doesn't have to be three separate things like answer a box or make a coffee, take your vitamins. It can be three parts within your task that you say like, okay, I'm going to hold on these three pieces of information. I'm going to do these three micro tasks within the tasks without writing it down and knowing that I'm working on it. And once that's super comfortable, give yourself four, five, and move on from there. Holding two or more pieces of information at once tends to be a hindrance that most people don't even realize they have until they improve it. All of a sudden, they get so much more time and mental energy back that they were like, where was I until now? Your challenge this week is to give yourself at least two 
things to hold on to, whether it's two parts of a task or two tasks to do without writing it down. If you're comfortable with two, bump it up until it's a challenge. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next episode. That's all for this episode of the Business Brain Podcast. If you enjoyed it, please share it with two of your business friends so they too can gain from it and we'll be helping us reach our goal of 1 million downloads by the end of 2025. Cheers to peak brain performance.